Hello, I'm Anton. Today I want to tell you how you can get new experiences while piloting your DJI drone, Phantom or Inspire models. More specifically, we're going to talk about an app that will enable you to control your drone via, via VR glasses or glasses of virtual reality. Uh, so the conventional way uh, of controlling your drone uh, is via your tablet and uh, obviously the remote control. Uh, so there are a couple of drawbacks with that. Uh, firstly, uh, if you uh, pilot your drone onto the bright sunshine, uh, sun reflects from the surface of the tablet and you can't really see a thing on it, which certainly disturbs you while piloting your drone. Uh, secondly, uh, the standard app DJI Go lacks some uh, graphical uh, telemetry, uh, of which I'm going to talk uh, later a bit. and. Uh, and of course, uh, VR glasses uh, gives you a unique ability to uh, actually feel as if you were positioned on the drone itself and actually gives you the feeling of flying, which is great. Uh, so, actually VR glasses are really cheap. They only cost between 10 and $40. And they are pretty easy to use too. Uh, you only need an app on your phone, uh, DreamFlies. Uh, you turn it on, plug your phone inside the VR glasses, and then simply plug the cable from the from the remote control inside your phone. And you turn the remote control and the drone on, and you're ready to go. So let's go outside and try. Hello. So we're out. Uh, it's snowy, cold, and gloomy here, but it's Russia for you in winter. We have the uh, DJI drone here. It's Phantom 4. We have it turned on already. I'm going to put it on our imaginary launch pad. Uh, here I have uh, my glasses with my phone uh, turned on and uh, plugged in uh, into the remote control already. And now I just have to put them on and we will be ready to go. So now I'm just going to retire to a safe distance here, put them on, take the remote control in my hands uh, I'm now turning on the motors, here we go, and fly. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm showing you the screen of the phone. Uh, the picture is double because as you see it, it hasn't gone through glasses yet, and it's a bit crappy too just because of the way it was recorded. Uh, don't worry, the actual picture I'm seeing now is stereoscopically put into one, and is of great quality. Uh, right now I'm using the conventional mode to control the drone with sticks, but the camera moves in sync with my head movements. There are also other modes in DreamFly's app uh, where you have more control with your body motions. We will try it later maybe. Uh, also DreamFly gives me great audio cues, uh, which is really helpful. So when I was ascending it uh, gave me helicopter sound, and when I'm just moving it gives me constant uh, uh, wind howling, and it also changes with uh, accordance with speed. You probably can hear it. Uh, so let's slow down for a second and try a bit of rotation. Uh, in Dream Flights, there is a special way to display telemetry parameters graphically. You can see uh, the string in the middle. Uh, it's called the director in Dream Flights. Uh, it shows uh, the cardinal direction, so I always know which way I'm facing. The slit and white parts uh, of it. Uh, are the ones that are uh, far away. So uh, now, for example, I'm facing something between south uh, and east. Well, right now, south. Yeah, uh, so um, we, we can go a bit further now. Let's move forwards. Uh, yep. You can see uh, the dashed arrow uh, appearing. It represents our horizontal displacement. It changes with direction and with speed, so the faster you fly, the longer the arrow is. Uh, another thin uh, solid arrow uh, points at the letter H, uh, and it is of course uh, toward, uh, it points uh, towards the home point. So you will always know uh, where the home, where you have left the home point. Yeah. So for example, now we're turning towards it. Okay, so now we're approximately at 50 meters, uh, and uh, let's try getting a bit lower. 
So now you can see the cone appearing in the middle. Uh, so if you're sinking down, the co uh, this cone points downwards. Uh, so uh, the faster you descend, the more pronounced it becomes. So uh, let's go higher this time and see what happens. Uh, you can hear this audio cue of helicopter sound and now the cone uh, is uh, facing towards the uh, sky and uh, it's uh, pronounced uh, as we uh, ascend quite quickly. So uh, now we're approximately at 75 meters. Uh, uh, I was talking uh, earlier about the uh, home point and the arrow pointing towards it, the solid one. Let's go there now. Uh, as we go there, uh, take notice uh, uh, in the bottom line, uh, the number next to the letter H is growing smaller. It's uh, obviously the distance uh, to home point. So now it's like 25, 20, 15 meters. Yeah, so now we're just uh, on top of the home point, only 70 meters uh, in the air. So also uh, in the top of the screen, uh, you can see the green line. Uh, it's uh, the battery indicator. You can see that it's almost full and we have 23, uh, 40, uh, 23 minutes 46 seconds to go uh, till the battery is over. Uh, so now let's uh, try getting a bit lower. Uh, so at this point, uh, look at the bottom line. Uh, you can see the number it's 25, uh, 24, it's the altitude. Uh, this altitude is the main one. Uh, it, uh, so it uses uh, uh, it's it's like barometric altitude, uh, and uh, it's not very precise, uh, but it works on all heights. Uh, so now you can also see uh, we're getting lower, and uh, uh, another altitude appeared with a reverse Wi-Fi sign next to it. Uh, it says 5.2 something meters. Uh, it's more precise, but it only works up to 10 meters, so most of the time you have to rely uh, on the first altitude. Now I want to show you what happens uh, if you get close to obstacles such as trees, for example, as, we, uh, as I am getting here. Uh, so uh, you can see this blinking double arrows appearing uh, every time I get close uh, to one tree or another with a uh, number on it. So for example, it's like 7.2, 7.2, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, it's basically the distance uh, to the obstacle uh, you're facing. It's just uh, another visual cue that helps uh, the operator uh, to track uh, obstacles so not to miss them and not to crash into them. That was a quick review of Dreamflight's app. We haven't covered the most interesting part yet, uh, VR modes which are modes where you can control your drone via body motions. I hope we will do it in the next videos to come. Uh, there is much more interesting things to uh, Dreamflight's app. Uh, you can go on our website and check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Goodbye.